Hello my peeps! My name is Kat aka Kakibot and I make little videos about life and travel around Scotland. And today we are going back to East Lothian because Visit East Lothian invited us and asked us to find some great little spots for romantic dates. Just in case you don't know, East Lothian is a fantastic little region just outside of Edinburgh. It's really easy to get there. It takes about 30 minutes on train to get to North Berwick, which is kind of in the heart of East Lothian. You can also take a bus and obviously if you drive, that's probably going to be the easiest for you. But let's not linger on the practicalities. I think that we should go and do some romantic stuff right now. I think we're going to start with some castle romance. Story loving couples out there, here's a tip. Visit the Dalton Castle, which is just probably like five minutes away from North Berwick. As you can see behind me, there's a huge and amazing and very romantic ruin of a castle from the 13th century, one of the oldest ones you can visit around here. Uh, there's also a beautiful garden, which is from the 16th century, and also a bowling green. There's also a ducot, also known as um, Pigeon House. <laughs> By the way, this was news to me, this wasn't pigeons for mail, this was pigeons for eating. There's plenty of amazing looking ancient trees around here, which is another detail that I'm really enjoying while visiting Dalton. Um, there's supposed to be ginkgos as well, which now are kind of out of season, but if you visit kind of October time, you might see an amazing, almost like Japan style foliage, you know, golden and beautiful. The staff here is super helpful and knowledgeable, so if you stop by them and ask them for some stories, they will be willing to enlighten you with some really exciting things. I don't really have time in this video to tell you any of those stories, but if you stop by Dalton, the people here will just do their best to give you their knowledge. Archerfield Links, which is just outside of North Berwick, because what's more romantic than a little spy experience with your significant other? So as you can see in the footage, they have this little cute cabin, uh, very cozy, called the Fletcher's Cottage, and in there you can get a massage, you can get a manicure, pedicure, you can also visit their sauna, uh, you can buy some cosmetics, get yourself a healthy little smoothie, but I think that the best bit are these little huts where we are right now. Um, this is the Aroma Hut, and they also have a seaweed hut, which is a bit darker, a bit witchier, uh, but we went for this one because it's more romantic. I am currently submerged in water that just smells like tea, kind of like herbal tea with rose petals in it, and it is the best. I've always wanted to become tea, and now I am tea. <laughs> I am Mrs. T. So if you like tea and if you like romantic times and things smelling of roses, why not visit the Fletcher's Cottage? Thank you. 
now we are at Seacliff Beach and that is about 10 minutes drive from North Berwick eastwards and we think that this is a great place for a bit of a secluded introverted little date it truly feels like your own little private beach here because i mean it might have something to do with it being winter and it is literally zero degrees today but uh it is quite empty here and compared to beaches like the one that's right in north berwick or even the yellow craigs beach or god forbid portobello in edinburgh we met maybe two other people here it is a cute little compact beach but you get such good views from here you see the Tantalon castle and you see the bass rock and it's it's just wonderful really i think that when the weather's better you can even set up a little picnic here uh, i could actually set up a picnic here today because i came prepared it is winter time so i have mince pie and some christmas cookies with me I do kind of want to eat this now because it's so cold and I need the fuel to keep myself alive. Today we had a little romantic lunch date here at Carberry Tower. You can come over here for a bistro lunch or you can stay here for a little afternoon tea. The whole estate is really charming and just like full of little secrets. I had the best of times just like having this little adventure trying to discover all these like little rooms and nooks around Carberry Tower. If you're a fan of the royal family maybe it's gonna be interesting for you to know that this was one of um, George VI that's the Queen's dad. It was his, uh, one of his favorite places. He would bring his whole family here. And if you go to Carberry's website, you're gonna see a lot of really cute pictures from when the Queen was still super tiny and was having a fun time here at Carberry. Uh, one of the pictures is the royal pillow fight and it's hilarious, I love it. Anyway, uh, this place is actually really close to Edinburgh. It's just around the corner from Dalkeith and from Musselburgh. So if you're going into that direction, why not stop here and have a really tasty lunch. And our final tip, maybe for the ones of you who are trying to stay on budget or don't have that much time, or maybe you don't own a car and it's more convenient to, to just hop on the train or a bus from Edinburgh or somewhere else, uh, just come to North Berwick. We have been spending quite a lot of time here during 
making these videos and we absolutely fell in love with it. Um, there's so much to see and do and also to eat and drink. So for the final part of this video, we went to Steampunk Coffee, we went to Alanda's Gelateria and we went to Bostock Bakery. All three of these places offer amazing food and coffee for really affordable prices, uh, especially for what you're getting. So I think it's just the perfect list of places to visit to fuel your further explorations. And those were our five romantic spots to find in East Lothian. If this video kept you intrigued and super interested in what East Lothian has to offer, you absolutely have to visit the Visit East Lothian website. And don't forget, they also have an amazing Instagram account and they're active on Twitter. And this is their YouTube channel that you're watching this on. So subscribe to them as well here on YouTube. Both my partner and I had the best of times while shooting this video, so we can only recommend you come over to East Lothian and try at least some of these activities and visit some of these places that we did. I know that you didn't see much of Simon in this video. Simon is my partner. Uh, you've seen a tiny bit of him, but he has been doing all of these romantic activities with me and uh, it was just romance galore. If you're interested in more videos about Edinburgh and Scotland and traveling around it, don't forget to also pop over to my channel, which is called Kakibot. If you like this video, you will like my other content, so give it a go. Okay, friends, uh, thank you for watching and thank you Visit East Lothian for making this video happen. We had so much fun shooting it. Okay, see you in East Lothian. Bye.